Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're going to take a look at Case and Linux, a Linux distribution based on Debian for the professional in IT. But before we get started, please like and subscribe or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and at the end of the day, if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. Plus, in the description below, I've got all my social links. And if you want to back the channel and you like what we're doing here, ease on over to Patreon and show your support. Case in Linux. This is a really interesting distribution. I just booted up into a virtual machine. It's very beautiful right off the bat. One of the things I'm going to do is go ahead and make this panel a little bigger so we can see. There we go. I made it just a hair bigger. As you can see, the taskbar's doubled up. We've got four desktops down here. Case and Linux. Let me show you their web page. Okay, when you open up Firefox, you've actually got three tabs that are open. The first tab is Welcome to Case and Linux. The next is Privacy Notice from Firefox. And then your third is Privacy Badger, which is installed into the browser out of the box. Basically, Privacy Badger automatically learns to block invisible trackers. Put this on a USB or open it up in a virtual box. You can take a look at that for yourself. Let's zip back on over to Case and Case and was first released the 14th of December, 2019. So we're coming Coming up on the second full year of it, it's based on Debian. Its release mode is a rolling release. Its origins, it is a French distribution, and the objective of Case and Linux is to have a complete toolbox for network and system administrators. Now, having said that, out of the box, it has a lot of productivity tools that even if you're not an IT professional or a network administrator, that this release, as beautiful as it is, you can use as a daily driver, in my opinion. Case and Linux is a distribution for IT professional based on Debian GNU Linux. It is a complete operating system whose originality is to provide a set of tools dedicated to system administration and covering all needs for diagnosing and dealing with faults or failures of an installed system and its components, whether it be Linux or Windows or Mac. Case and Linux also integrates a good number of Wi-Fi, video, sound, and Bluetooth drivers in addition to those contained in the kernel to provide improved hardware support, and ensuring that you do not have to install anything more after the installation. So basically, once you download this distribution, put it on a laptop, or you put it on a thumb drive, you've got everything you need right there to fix problems. And that's what's important to an IT professional. So let's go back over to the desktop. As you can see, it's very beautiful. You've got a conky up here that lets you know out of the box how long you've been up, what percentage of CPU you're using. Right now, we're using about 15% of the two CPUs I have issued to this machine. I've given it two gigabytes of RAM right now. It is using about 600 megabytes at rest. It breaks down which processes are using RAM over here. It's got IP addresses for DNS, wireless, Ethernet, USB, VPN. Everything will be broke down here. But because I'm in a virtual box and it's getting a virtual Ethernet connection, it's not going to break those down. It just has my Ethernet connection as a local. Down here, you've got power, you've got date, time, got internet connection, clipboard manager, sound. You got your four desktops. Go back over. Let's see if they've got HTOP out of the box. HTOP right now says we're running 664 megabytes of the two gigabytes I have issued. The CPU is under 20% because I've only got two cores issued to it. So if you've got a dual core laying around and you need to do some IT work or you just want a quick fast and lightweight distribution to put on that. Case and Linux is snappy. Case and Linux is quick. So we just open up terminal, screenshot, you got mouse pad, you got Firefox, and you have file manager. So let's open up file manager. And file manager is PC man, I do believe. Let me double check. Yes, PC man FM 1.3.2. It's a lightweight file manager using libfm. Now what I do really like about Case and Linux, I like the color scheme. I like the black and red. I think it really pops. You have a lot of Linux distributions. You've got the Ubuntu look and then you've got a lot of blue and greens, but I do like the black and red, and it's easy to see things on the screen. Inside File Manager, you can see you got your usual suspects over here, home desktop, trash can documents. And these are locked into place. You can't move them. And then your file menu close out of that. Now let's go down to our menu down here. You click on the Kason logo. You've got Debian. You've got applications, your Debian applications, your data management. You got InnoTop, your emulators. You got VirtualBox pre-installed, graphics. You got Doty, Lefty, network, communication, file transfer, monitoring, and then you have more things under those science you got mathematics which will give you calculator shells you got bash dash sh zsh administration you got bacula console editors logout x fonsel x kill x refresh hardware x vid tune monitoring you got IP state, LSHW, GTK, PS tree, top, terminal emulators, you got Xterm, viewers, you got Docker, your administrative tools, you got network, you click over to network, you got console, DHCP, DNS, Ethernet, firewall, GNS3, IP Mac, monitoring, PCAP, scanners, SSL, TCP, UDP, VPN, Wi Fi, 2 ping, and then a bunch of terminal apps. System, you got backup, you got Dervish, you got dump, duplicity, duply, GR sync, Restic, RS backup, R sync, V backup, Z backup, Z sync. You can see all the tools. 
tools that you get out of the box. FileZilla, GFTP, IFTP, for Microsoft, Bloodhound, Cable Extract, PowerShell, Remote Administration, you've got Cluster SSH, you've got Open, Parallel, R Desktop, Remina, Remote Desktop Client, Remote Viewer, SCP, Tmux. You can just see how many tools you've got in here to do your job as an IT professional. Ansible, you've got all these terminals. AWS, Amazon Web Services, you can get in and fix problems with that. Docker, LXC, System Snapshots, you can come over here and take snapshot of your system or a snapshot of the system you're working on. You can do it in BTRFS, you can do it in Snapper, Timeshift, Virtualization, you've got VirtualBox, Crypto Setup, Nuke Password, CTOP, HTOP, File Systems, now you can go in here and fix file systems, BTRFS, EcryptFS, EXFAT, F2FS, Cluster, MKFS, NTFS, UDF, VMFS, XFS, ZFS, there are so many different file systems you can go in here and work on, Maintenance Tools, Cloning, Compress, Data Privacy, Data Recovery, Disk Analysis, and these are just the main ones. Now, cloning, you got Clonezilla. You've got full list of those. Compress and decompress, data protection, data recovery, DD rescue all the way to scrounge and TFS, disk analysis, hardware, malware scanner, Outlook, PST, partitioning and erasing, temperature analysis, tools and passwords, USB boot. You got Belina Etcher, various analysis. And then you have miscellaneous tools from crypt setup, nuke password, all the way to Yamlint, services, 2ping, ARP watch, all these services. And then under those services, everything that you can do with that tool. Look at this. Cups, file systems. If you're an IT professional or you're somebody that's just into IT, this distribution is just unreal with the tools it has out of the box. You don't have to go looking for these tools. They're already there for your use. And then user applications. You've got accessories. You've got calculator, image viewer, mouse pad, screenshot, graphics. you got document viewer, GIMP. Out of the box, LibreOffice Draw, Internet, Deluge, Firefox, HexChat, CubitTorrent, Thunderbird, Office, you got the LibreOffice Suite, Programming, VS, Podium, Sound and Video, MPV Video Player, Pulse Audio Control, SM Player, VLC Media Player, System Tools, Disk Management, File Manager, Caseon Terminal, Task Manager, TIEX Terminal, and then Preferences, you got your settings over here that you can change, Light DM GTK Settings, Screensaver, Set Up Hotkeys, Time and Date, About, advanced network configuration, and then your run command, and then your log out. I'm just going to tell you right now, if you're somebody that is in to IT, whether you're doing it professionally or you're doing it as a hobby and you need tools, this is definitely the distribution you want to download. Case in Linux, beautiful, light. It's a toolbox. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say I wouldn't even want to know how much time it would take to download all these tools one by one to put them in a distribution so you as an IT professional or somebody that's into IT could use these tools or play around with these tools to get experience or to actually fix major problems on a network. Case in Linux, a very beautiful distribution, very light distribution resource-wise, and a distribution that has more tools than you know what to do with. Before you go, do me a favor. Please like and subscribe or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and at the end of the day, if you don't like me, you can always unsubscribe. You can also follow me down below in our social media, and if you like what the channel's doing, zip on over to Patreon and help us out a little bit. Thank you for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next video.